Hey everybody, Michael Laitler here. Today we're gonna to be focusing on your long-term goals. I know a lot of times I talk about one-year goals, three-year goals, five-year goals, but today on this video, we're gonna talk about four ways to manage your career with your long-term goals. Before we start, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you're able to follow all the videos they come up. Make sure you hit that little notification button that's popping up on your screen right now. Let's jump into the video. A lot of times when we're looking at our growth, we're looking at organizational goals. We're looking at the organizational mission. We're looking at the organization vision. But how often do you look at the goals that impact you, especially on the long term? I want to take away that word organization for the sake of this video, and I want to have you input professional and personal goals. That way, when we go over these next four ways to manage your long-term success, you understand that this is about you. This is about what you can do to ensure your long-term goals actually come to fruition. We know the organization is going to be able to do what they do because they have a whole team they have strategies, they have operational plans in place, but what is the plan you have in place to ensure your growth over the long term? Let's go ahead and think about that for a moment. What am I doing to plan my long term growth? No, I didn't pause what I was saying. I actually took a second to let you digest that. If you have to go back 10 to 15 seconds to think about that, think about it quickly, but understand that when it comes to growth when it comes to goals it's good to be understanding and to have an understanding of what you can do in the short run but when it comes to the macro version of that what are you doing to ensure that they're in place the first thing i want you to look at is to expand your horizons just because you're well respected in your industry what's going on on the outside of it a lot of times we're so good at what we do around the people we know we don't know what we're missing that's one of the reasons why i love to travel i love to see how other cultures how other countries how different groups of people are actually living their lives how they're solving problems how they're creating happiness for what environment they're in when it comes to expanding your horizons you have to think about the same thing what are you doing to step outside of that so-called box that a lot of us find ourselves in? Because as a speaker that's traveled the country, traveled the world, what I've realized is that the more I understand about other cultures, other industries, other organization, the more I'm able to form the goals I have, be able to answer the questions that I'm always like, what's the point of that? or why are we doing this? But it starts off with stepping outside of that box, that little box that you might be thinking about right now, and going outside of your industry. Those small relationships that you build when you're out there, those small experiences that you enjoy, go a far way because things that you learn outside of your industry, you can bring back in. I've been one of the people that have been able to enjoy that. Having a predominantly law enforcement background I've been able to speak and conduct training with human resource groups, project management groups, real estate groups, even construction groups. And some of the experience I've taken from these different areas, I've been able to bring back to my industry and I've been able to elevate it. And at the same time, I've been able to elevate myself because it showed me and allowed me to have more of a micro vision micro experience of the things that that were going on around me simultaneously that i may have not known before thus the first thing i look at when it comes to preparing for my long-term success expand my horizons expand yourself to understanding that there's a lot more situations out there so you know there's more things that you can do just by stepping outside of that box a little bit the next area I want you to be able to expand on, specifically in the area of your long-term success, is carve out 20% of your time 
doing creative activities. Now, in my book, Greatness Beyond the Badge, one of the things I talk about in the 24 hour formula is taking at least 10% of your day to work on you. Now, it depends on what you do in that 10%, but I highly recommend out of that 10%, find different things that challenge you. Use your creative mind because a lot of great ideas start up in here. And then from that point forward, we're able to cultivate and we're able to design these great ideas, but not being able to take at least 20% of your time to do that, it's hard just to be creative. Some companies like Google, some companies like IBM, they have in their rules and the way they process things, they actually have their staff take 20% out of their work week, 20% out of their workload and figure out how to be creative because they know that they can use their help. Everybody comes up with creative ideas, but not at least, at least not allowing yourself not to do that. It makes it a lot more difficult to come up with creative ideas. Simply put, take 20% of your time and do that. Now I'm not saying out of a five day work week, if that's the kind of work week you have, take one whole day. You might say, all right, I'm gonna take two hours here. I'm gonna take two hours there. I'm gonna take another two hours over there. But however you split it up, make sure you're doing that because the more creative you are, the more you're gonna be able to once again, look at that long-term success that we're trying to achieve in the message for this video. Because a part of that growth, a part of that vision is your imagination. And taking that time out and actually focusing on different avenues will go a far way. The next area I want you to look at is to think, think in waves. Now, one of the things I learned from Clifton Strengths and if you haven't taken it, go to gallup.com. It's an amazing quick assessment that kind of helps you understand your strengths. That's kind of the whole concept of Clifton strengths. But one of the things I learned is that my number one strength is a learner. When it comes to learning and understanding the purpose behind it, that's just one part of thinking in a wave. The next part is reaping, connecting, understanding what else is going on around you. So when you're looking at a wave, when you're thinking in waves, you have to be able to learn, connect, and then reap from these ideas. You always want to be able to have your mind fluctuating and flowing and not becoming stagnant on the things that currently work right now. There's so many things out there that are ever changing. Think about it. Think about what you're looking at right now. 20, 30 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, we didn't have a YouTube channel. We didn't have things like video presentations that were easily accessible. 40 years ago, some of this stuff wasn't even thought of, not at the consumer level, but somebody was thinking in a wave. They were thinking, okay, what else can we do? They were trying to learn new things. Then they were connecting with others. And then now we're reaping from some of those thoughts and concepts and ideas that those people have. Can you tell so far how some of these concepts have built up on each other, expanding your horizon, thinking outside of the box, and now thinking in waves? All things designed to help you start working on your long-term success because you can't just get into the ocean and just think you're gonna just sail smooth. It doesn't work like that. Things just are ever changing. Thus, it's good to already be in a practice mode of, okay, what am I gonna learn next? What am I gonna use for that 20% of the time I've already carved out? What am I gonna connect with others on? What am I gonna do to help all these ideas flow? And then obviously, how am I gonna share it with other people? How am I gonna reap from it? Thinking in ways allows that long-term success to succeed because things are gonna change no matter what. We can even talk about that C word that happened to us a couple of years ago. And some of the ideas that came out of that came from people not being stagnant, people not just thinking one way. It actually allowed them to think bigger. It allowed them to think higher. 
all things that is all things that are important when it comes to our all, all of our long-term success the last thing you want to look at is operate on the seven-year horizon jeff bezos actually talked about this in wired magazine back in 2011. specifically he talked about a lot of people a lot of companies operate on a three-year horizon a three-year time frame thus there's a lot of congestion within that three-year time but when you're looking at long-term success and you're trying to separate yourself you think on a longer plane you start thinking of more ideas and the longer you go just naturally the less competitors you have a lot of people aren't in this game they're not in your industry they're not in what you're trying to do for the long run they're just trying to make a quick dollar a quick buck whatever it takes just to kind of get by when it comes to expansion when it comes to growth a seven year plan for long-term success is going to be a lot more beneficial than a three-year plan now when it comes to goal setting when it comes to building up different things that you're working on you still have to have those things in place but with that three-year mind and plan have more ideas and thoughts after that don't just stop where you're at because what you're going to end up finding out is when you hit that three-year mark you're not going to have anything else left especially if you're truly planning and implementing every strategy you have thus having a seven-year horizon a seven-year plan in place goes a lot farther than having a three-year two-year even a five-year plan because seven years you're definitely going to be able to sustain a lot more when you're focused on things that are lasting a lot longer thank you guys for watching this video i know it was kind of quick but kind of long at the same time but i wanted to give you guys a couple of ideas concepts strategies like i usually do but in a sense of your long-term success because while it's good to have short-term wins short-term opportunities you have to think macro when it comes to your success not your organization's success not your team's success but yours as well and if you've ever heard me present before or if you've had a chance to watch some of my other videos if you have not that's fine you still have time <laughs> you know how much i really promote your own growth how much i want to see each of you develop yourself but you do have to plan you do have to think about expanding your horizon you have to think about carving out 20 percent of your time to be creative you have to be able to think in waves and then finally you have to be able to embrace a seven-year horizon you have to think about these things i know i'm always given a lot of information a lot of data but there's a lot that takes place for you to grow as a person there's a lot that takes place for you to be able to succeed and not having all these small things in place can really throw you off in the long run thus looking at what you can do for your long-term success goes a far way it's going to allow you to be able to step into more success it's going to be able to allow you to step into what you deserve because I know from a lot of people I've met over the last couple of years, especially being a professional speaker, there's a lot of great people just waiting, just waiting to unleash what they have. Once again, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Go ahead and like, comment, share this video with others and help them move along their path of success allow them to grow just like you the more people that we grow together the better we can be as a society the better we can be as a community the better we could just be as people thank you have a great day